Welcome to my maid of honor diaries. So I know that a lot of brides do vlogs for their wedding, um, their wedding planning process. And I asked you all if I should do a maid of honor diaries and you all said yes. So here I am just going to document my journey. Um, just to give some context, I am a first time maid of honor. Actually, this is my first time ever in a bridal party. This is my first friend that's getting married <laughs> that I will be attending. My friend Karen, I've known her since fifth grade. She's one of my best friends and her fiance, Jimmy, uh, they've been together for 10 years. So it is, we, so we've all known each other since middle school. Um, yeah. So today we're going to see one venue. We've seen one already a couple weeks ago and tomorrow we have three venues. So it's a very venue heavy weekend. And so I'll just take you all along with me. I feel like so far I haven't done much. It's still like a while out, but I think mainly uh, just kind of messaging her. I have a saved folder on both my Instagram and my computer. Whenever I see ideas or things that she might like, I save them in there. And then I also DM her a bunch of things. Right now, my explore page is like all wedding stuff. So <laughs> I just send her things and then, yeah, just like listen. So when we're at the venues, I've just taken it upon myself to be the historian. So I'm like taking pictures, videos while they are actually talking to the person that works there. So I'm just kind of like that third person just in the back capturing the place so that they can look at it later I feel kind of like anxious I, I felt anxious when she asked me although I kind of knew she was going to ask me I just felt like I didn't want to disappoint her um I feel like I don't know I feel like it's a lot of pressure and I'm really glad I'm not teaching because I don't think I could do this while teaching when Jimmy proposed to her I had told him, if you want my help, you need to do it during winter break because if it's during the school year, there's no way that I can help. So he proposed to her last winter during my winter break and I was able to um, help a lot with that. So yeah, all right, I'll see y'all later. It's about 1.30 and my friend Karen had originally told me to be ready by 1.30 and then she recently messaged me was like, hee hee, so I told you 1.30, but we're actually not going to leave until 2.30 because I have a really bad habit of just running late. And usually she's always late. So I know if I'm going out with her, I could be late. But lately she's been on time or early to everything. <laughs> so now I'm the one that's late. And so I'm grateful for the buffer. And now I have an hour before we go. I'm recording us going. <laughs> this is for my maid of honor diaries. Hello, Jimmy. Hi. <laughs>
past tells me stories of life in a far perfect place where I wanna stay. like doing my blanket and sheets and I was tired so I just wanted to take a break say hello and kind of wrap up this vlog so we went to a total of three venues today so a total of four venues this weekend and an overall total of five venues and I feel like we have a kind of wide range of like different feelings for the venues so today each venue we went to got progressively better like exponentially better than the last one which I'm really glad that the sequence worked out that way instead of like starting with the strongest and then ending up kind of more and more disappointed. But I think we all got a better idea of like what Jimmy and Karen are looking for and just like the different vibes, different things to look out for. Parking situation, which I probably would have never thought about. Like what's the experience walking in? Um, what's the restroom situation like? What's the seating arrangement like? Like is it spacious? The ceilings, are they high? Like what is the food like? Um, just kind of like security even. Uh, all these different things that, I don't know, just like the world of weddings is so much. And um, I've only seen it on like Instagram, but going in person, it's really hard to visualize the place when the venue is empty, which most of them were. And so when they showed us like a picture on their Instagram, I was like, wow, I can't even imagine this venue turning into that. So I think um, it's really good that the last venue we went to said that they book tours when there's an event happening that night. And so I think a tip would be like, if you can go during a time where they're planning for an event, it would help like just better visualize what it might look like. And last night I had like an honest conversation with Karen just saying like, I think it's really important for her to be open and honest with her communication with us because we're all first time like bridal party and she's first time bride too. Um, and so we're all figuring it out and not really sure what like the expectations are. And so I think just like kind of letting us know what she wants. Um, and so there's just like no miscommunication, misunderstandings or drama or anything like that. Today, we're able to hash out more of our thoughts and like she's in the debriefing process right now. And so I'll get to her messages in a bit. Um, but I think something that I told her and that I'm realizing is that I need to kind of separate like what I feel is more for like my personal taste and my ideal like wedding versus what I think she would like and her ideal vision. And to kind of let her know like, you know, my thoughts for each if she's interested in because they're not always aligned um so that's been something interesting to think about i don't know it's exciting i'm excited about it and i am glad i have this time that i can do this with her today cindy joined us cindy is another bridesmaid so we will see i will wrap up this episode if you all want to see episode two of maid of honor diaries let me know down below and I hope this helps anybody who is also looking at venues in SoCal. Maybe this could save you a trip. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.